hope this is good enough. I really hope it's good enough. Yeah. That looks sick! Oh my god, that was the most stressed out I think I've ever been. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to Design Royale. We have eight different contestant design with the same exact brief, but this time we got motion design. So of course, if you guys have not yet watched the previous episodes, please go ahead and check them out in the little panel. You guys look at the playlist. We had logo design, graphic design, but this time it's motion design. Honestly, this time you guys are in for a treat. First up, we have Sammy, who is a graphic and motion designer for RDKN. Andro, who is a freelance motion designer for Excel. Bluebell, who is an esports motion designer for Misfits and Florida Mayhem. Charlie, who is a 16 year old graphic and motion designer for Acuity Studios. Wilru, who is a motion designer for Azurite Studios and Obey Alliance. Lemon, who is a motion designer for NorCal Esports. Mooney, who is a professional idea haver slash motion designer. And lastly, Future, who is a motion designer for Toronto Ultra, as well, who's worked with people on offline TV. Also, we cannot forget the brilliant George Nowak, who is also our co-host and also happens to be a motion designer. So you guys can look out for him for some really good critiques. But uh, yeah, this you guys are in for a treat. Are you guys ready? Please, please, please enjoy. Let's do it. All right, so moving into our first brief for round one, our prompt is to create a stream graphic for a Valorant character being Omen, Viper, Killjoy, or Neon. They're looking to start with either a starting soon or intro sequence. Color palette and personality traits will be provided based on the agent you choose. You have one hour and 45 minutes, excluding your render time. We have two perks. One being critique, where you'll get a one to two minute critique from myself and Sesso, or a sabotage perk where you can select up to two players. Those two players will spend the next three minutes labeling and organizing their project file. Let's do it. Three, two, one, design. All right, let's do this. Oh my God, I don't know where to start. Killjoy, she's got the like robot stuff. If I can get 3D objects of those from like a Reddit comment section, that would be insane. What I was thinking is we can make something dark and mysterious for Omen. So George, all right, you're you're the motion guy here, bro. What would you even start with? Motion design, especially under pressure, is really, really tough. So I would start organizing everything right I, I would definitely focus okay. on layout first i mean i always say a good motion designer should also be a good graphic designer so i'm not gonna let anyone off the hook if they don't know how to design a layout properly that to me is gonna take points off i'm thinking like loose loosely there will be some stuff here and then there can be like a chat here or something. For the starting intro, I think I wanna do like a coder thing. She's a hacker, right? So I'm thinking the Philippines flag and then having lightning constantly striking. So we're going for like a lot of electricity, which should be good. I'm hoping that this is okay. I'm gonna go with this off-white background color. I think that's gonna fit neon more. Gonna get the composition sorted first. Oh fuck, what am I gonna do for the circle? A spinning circle just looks like a circle. The way this structure is gonna be used is a bit different. It will slowly come into the existence, like, you know, transition. This is stressing me out so much. I'm shaking. And I've noticed in Omen, he has like these swirly whirly things. What I'm gonna do is you sort of use those as this design. I wanna see if I can like recreate this look, but I'm not sure how well that would go. I'm I'm blanking so hard. Oh my god, my hands are shaking so much. Like, I can't click my keyframes. And just like that, 15 minutes went by, one hour and 30 minutes left. These guys are in a pretty good spot right now. Uh, the background needs some needs to be busy and dark, I think. I feel like this side's nicer because the hand going off. Do you know what I mean? Then we can play with this electricity, maybe get some shapes going in here. We're getting 3D in this bitch. I kind of want to do some sort of electricity in the back, but I think that's going to be too hard and take too long. Usually I do the design first, but I'm scared I'm just going to focus on the design. I'm out of time that it times up. I haven't designed. <laughs> okay, what could I do that's in 3D that we look cool in the background? I can bring the shapes in. Okay, right, the shapes from before. Here we go, here we go, okay. And with that, we have one hour remaining and they are just doing incredible. Everyone here is a literal professional. Okay, this is good. Get in there, what's the time? No, oh, this is not good, this is not good. That's sexy, all right. Phantom of a man, it's straight in your face. A bit like George Nomax face cam. Oh my God, my hands are shaking so much. I can't do this, Where's I need my smoothing. Now basically, my thought process is I'm just gonna have all these Killjoy things just floating around, bouncing off each other. There's like a kind of ambient background animation that has like 
starting soon, like countdown on it. I don't know how to fill this blank space. I hate filling blank space. We need like some sort of sparks coming in from the bottom, right? It feels Valorant, it feels Neon, but it almost feels more, I think right now it's like a 70% Valorant, 30% Neon. And if you want yours to stand out, I would try to come up with some effect that will really like stick with people. Hmm, none of this is yellow dominant. So maybe we, we need more purple and black and stuff. I think a large purple block glitch in the background would be good. In fact, this doesn't look that bad on its own. Welcome to my world. And then maybe a little acid transition. Um, and then we're just gonna like spam effects um, because that, that fixes everything. If you can take your, you know, this is Omen and then I'm a fan of a man and make that visually without using text is where you please me more in the graphic design standpoint of it. I would probably ditch the red. I, I think right now the what I'm seeing between these three scenes is that they don't feel very consistent with one another. Ooh, we could put the, the chat designer's skulls and then we'll put the chat box over here. I want to scream into a pillow. So we've got to try and incorporate some electricity type shit right now. And I need to figure out how that works. It just might, it feels bland right now because it's pure white. You have a couple moments that I think are nice with the glowing kind of like lightning strikes, but I don't know if it's prominent enough in the design. I mean, it, it really just shows up for a frame. From motion perspective, I think it works fine, but the color is a little bit inconsistent. 30 minutes remaining. I, honestly, these everyone's just in a really good spot. I'm curious how they're gonna all pull it together, but 30 minutes, I feel like most of these guys are key done in a way. I have no idea what else to say. I'm just throwing glow on literally everything to see if anything looks good. We're gonna do like this, and then we'll just give it a deep glow. Now it just looks like a cow. Turbulent and displays, fixes everything. It looks a bit more like highlights now. I think the black choppiness, I think if that was maybe like a different, maybe tone of black, and maybe not pure black, it might feel a bit more like in the theory of her, her kind of color palette. I'll make it easier for you too. I might even consider just making the background yellow. The way it's getting broken up right now, it's making the hierarchy of the design feel a little bit cluttered. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. The second scene, I think I can add a little bit more, or like not add a little bit more, but I can change some stuff here, I think. 10 minutes remaining at this point of the house, start thinking about their pitches as well. So like, I. You know, it, the design could look good, but what if the pitch is bad, you know? I had a thought. What if we put speed lines in the background? Oh, hold on. This looks sick. I don't know what to do. Instead of panicking, I'm going to do absolutely nothing. Oh my, why is Sammy so hot? What the f- <laughs> All right. <laughs> I want something more explosive to happen on Neon itself. It feels not enough's going on. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. Now it's smoky. I feel like this starting soon screen right here should have some sort of smoke to tie in the full story because it almost feels like we're like getting rid of the smoke after it just got introduced. I feel like maybe a darker green or like, yeah, I see like you have three different tones of greens here. I feel like that would be a better outlook than actually adding in that red because it feels a little bit too distracting, especially right now with that like red outline on the box. I would try to commit to whether or not you're going to use glow. Good luck. You have five minutes left. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Tessa is definitely just doing this to torture us. What this is like personal not? entertainment. This is like squid game. The starting soon text and all that information is clashing a little bit with how bright the background is. What is going on? One minute left. This guy is in crunch time right now. Ah, I hope this is good enough. I really hope it's good enough. It's nice knowing y'all. <laughs> yeah, that looks sick. I'm actually shitting myself. Uh, oh my God, that was the most stressed out I think I've ever been. So we're moving into elevator pitches now. Everybody should have roughly 30 seconds of a pitch as if they were presenting this to the client. Andrew, you're up first. I made this by keeping in mind what for me stand for. Still peace, dark, silent, and that's what I tried to do with my design. I couldn't complete it, but so that that's was the vision. Bluebell, what about you? I decided that since she's kind of part software, part hardware, she kind of walks the line. I wanted to make it so there were some unreal elements, so some kind of glitchy software-y elements, but also her robots. Everything is very blown out. It's very bold and neon. 
it's sharp, but there's a little bit of soft faded light from the LED screen. Next up is Charlie. I really didn't know what to do for this. And I found out his power has like these ring things. So I decided to put it around the character. And then we have this very bold in your face of his slogan, which goes to uh, like a full character shot. And then it just ends off with a Valorant graphic because it's Valorant. Future, what about you? Mine is divided up into two scenes. It's basically meant to represent Neon's gameplay. First scene, it's like a little bit of consistent movement with little bursts of color. Um, and then it goes into this high energy scene with the speed lines in the background and then her eyes lighting up because that's what so she does in the game. Lemon, what about you? I have some effects of electricity that kind of shows the power of Neon. It cuts into the words. It's really fast and snappy. It really shows how what Neon actually is. Mooney, you're up next. I also Welcome split up into world. two scenes because she's such like a intimidating figure. I thought going with like big, bold, larger text would be good. Instead of sort of doing the cloudy smoke, I decided to do more like harder lines to reflect the whole Valorant style. Sammy? So in my head I was thinking, okay, energy, engineering and like 3D. So I went for a kind of split approach. So I had a 3D background to kind of bring in that like engineering CAD style. And then I had a darting frame that was more the energy side. Uh, Will, you're up next. The key thing was like keeping Killjoy's like sharpness. There's quite a quick sharpness about her. So I wanted the whole the key thing was like keeping Killjoy's like sharpness. There's quite a quick sharpness about her. So I wanted the whole stream packet stream, I suppose as a starting screen, to be like energetic, quick, and like colorful. The crying congratulations comes uh, the unfortunate part where me and Jordan will have to go ahead and critique and uh, basically eliminate half of you guys. You know, just sorry, but like it's kind of how it goes. <laughs> So let's just get a quick walkthrough real quick of what you think of uh, Charlie. Charlie's was cool. I still think that the slides don't feel consistent with each other. I think Woolroof's is probably the best design. The layout's really, really visually appealing. As far as the animation, I, it's pretty much spot on what I would expect for Neon. All right, Sammy, the arcade idea and the sort of German engineering put like all the ideas in these little boxes. A very cool way that I didn't think about that he that he actually thought about, so I can appreciate that. His concept is probably the most unique. It just would need a little bit of refinement to it, but I think it's enough. Bluebell, what about Bluebell? Hers was okay. I mean, <laughs> it was nothing special. Hey, don't, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, hers, yeah. hers was really, really refined. I mean, incredible. I I don't really even need to speak on it too much. Mooney's was good. I could tell she was struggling, but I think it's kind of a similar situation with Charlie's where some of the scene work feels kind of inconsistent. So it's in the right direction, but I don't know if it, it went far enough. Andro, the 4 a.m. king, uh, what we got going on here? I could tell he was a little bit disappointed with the outcome. It seems like the idea was there, but he just ran out of time. So yeah. in my eyes, it doesn't really look like an intro or stream graphic. Lemons, uh, it's the most well-designed out of all of them. And I think that it has the most potential to be expanded on for the second challenge. I, I think animation-wise, Futures is more memorable, but Lemons is clearly better designed. I agree with you that it feels very great, very cool, and very like refined in this way. But I also would mention, I think if I look at Futures, I, I think the idea of the actual animation to the graphic itself is way more appealing than what I think I see on Lemons. So then I think we know who we're gonna move on then. With that, that means Sammy, Wilru, Bluebell, and Future are moving on to stage two and uh, gonna finish off their stream packages for their Valorant characters. Let's, uh, let's, you guys ready for this or what? So our second brief for round two is to complete our stream package for our favorite Valorant character. And the brief is using your previous animation as a foundation, build a stream package, including your current work, one stream alert and one additional deliverable of your choice, 45 minutes, excluding your render time. All right, three, two, one, design. All right, here we go again. I wanna have like neon like running and then I wanna have like the trail, the, the alert box. So I'm thinking for the alert, I'll use the same objects that I've already got. So maybe the turret comes out of the screen, the shapes spin around it maybe. Oh, I've got no idea how this is gonna turn out. Right, let's, let's do it boys. Okay, it's time. I'm, oh, I'm stressed man, it's gonna be okay. We're making an alert real quick. What I don't wanna do is include the character. 
in the alert. I feel like including the characters in the alerts will be a bit too much, but we are going to get this text in. We've got to do a lot in 45 minutes. 45 minutes is not a lot of time for this. How do, how, how do I, I hate resizing the freaking rectangles because it always makes it squished and annoying and bad and I hate it. Okay, that looks pretty good so far to me. Uh, the yellow could be a little more interesting, I feel. Okay, and the animation itself needs to be a little cooler. There's not that much going on right now. So I want to animate the trail first and then spend the rest of the time doing the lightning. That doesn't look as cool as I thought it would be. Maybe it's better if I like actually mask it out. Oh my god, I my fingers aren't working. Do I want them to spin individually as well? I kind of do. Can I rotate this? Oh. Oh, I can. All right, 35 minutes in round two, and honestly, it's this is a, this is a tough one. 45 minutes is literally no time, but these guys have an idea, so hopefully it's enough to get that that package going. I I wish instead of a block effect, it was something like kind of like a pixely side scroll with a little bit diagonal, but that seems like something quite difficult. And I can't spend all my time on this alert because we have other things to do. What else do I want to make? Let's make a panel. I actually think these shapes are pretty good to use. Actually, I'm happy I happy I did these. There we go. No, it's gone again. Uh, okay. I have to just speed up here. Bro, I am so stressed out. You do not want to even know how stressed out I am right now. I love glitchy things, by the way. I am such a sucker for glitch. Oh, Nelly. Okay, I guess you can be 3D if you really want to. I don't have time to fix it, so it's fine. Is that over here? There's so many windows. I'd hate Cinema 4D. I hate it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this in time, to be honest. I'll have to make two assets. Oh my god. I think all of these, I want to have this black outline. I think the black outline really sells it, really sells the contrast. That's our alert done. With this one, we're basically taking this. It's gonna be a more ongoing screen, so we're gonna just grab these bottom layers. Now we need a chat box and that's going to be done with our white color okay um we don't have much time to waste we can't spend all of our time on this alert okay we're gonna do another stream over a screen i mean we're gonna do a screen i really liked this image that we're gonna work on it that's a nice composition we're gonna keep going with this the good thing is it's got to be all on the same theme so i know what i'm doing it's just about getting it to look good all right 15 minutes remaining and honestly everyone who flew through the alerts and it's looking pretty good so far 15 minutes left oh my god and i haven't even finished one yet i don't have time to do any other like bounding boxes i'm just losing my mind i'm losing my mind i think this might have to be it i think this might have to be done okay let's make a let's make a webcam screen in five minutes i kind of don't know what i what to do for 15 minutes like i'm kind of i'm already happy with what i have maybe let's make a glow imagine if i was a valorant fan beforehand i would have saved so much damn time We've got some of these things to play with. I might with them. I don't know if it's worth it though. I mean, we've got something presentable. For me now, it's more about just getting some good sub things in. The text layers are all broken. Okay, we're gonna reboot and hope everything is fixed. Nine minutes. We don't have a lot of time, so we're just gonna make it fit quick. Stretch like neon. The channel the inner neon. Yo, stretching feels good. What the? Five minutes left. What if I added like little lightning strikes? I love the lightning strikes. I want the alert to be like really eye catching. Oh man, this is not good. This just doesn't look good. We don't have time for details, I think. Okay, the up and down is a little too fast. Okay, I'm just gonna play it a few times and just like see if there's anything else that I want to add last minute and like look at it from really far away. That's what I usually like to do. 30 seconds left. This is it. This is all right. I'm all right with this. I don't know what more I would do. I think that's it. I think we're out of time. I'm just praying that everyone else has struggled as much as me here. I can't. Oh my god. Unmute and stop designing. Oh my god. Holy shit. The time on that was not funny. Like, <laughs> you should not. Be laughing. I am a little bit sorry, but with that though, can you guys please render so that me and George can have a little moment to uh, critique? Before we move on, we want to hear elevator pitches again. So another 30 to 45 seconds pitching your design and your system you've created and how it relates to the person you're creating it for. Future, we're starting off with you. So the first question I had when starting designing was how do I expand on the thing that I already did? I think lightning is something that represents neon a lot. I kind of themed everything around the lightning too, like the shapes, the sharpness of it. But yeah, I also wanted to make it really flashy. Let's do Wilru next. For me, what I wanted to do is I wanted to carry the style over, but I didn't want to keep it necessarily the same style. This I felt gave 
me a good amount of detail while keeping it quite quick. Intermission, I felt I wanted to keep it more sort of low key, so it was like subtler movement. There wasn't as much going on with the starting screen because obviously this is the type of thing that would loop. Amazing, Bluebell. To expand on what I did earlier, I wanted to kind of emphasize the mix between the kind of retro-y to call back to the kind of mechanical aspect of Killjoy, mixing that with the futuristic, glitchy, kind of gamery aesthetic. Uh, I use the bots a lot because I, I was thinking, what do people watch a stream for? Companionship, right? They want to feel like they're being included. So by in including the kind of cast of bots, I thought that might make it more friendly. Sammy. Last up. When I was making mine to begin with, I've got these four shapes, which are just Killjoy's like character and abilities in game. And that was what I wanted to kind of keep across all the different assets to sort of tie them together, as well as the colors and everything else. So for the alert, I wanted to make those spin around her turret and just sort of have something flashy that draws the attention in. For the webcam, I kind of ran out of time, so it doesn't look exactly how I want it. That's honestly, it's honestly too incredible. So what I would say, is this, it, that didn't help me at all. It actually made it 10 billion times worse. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go over with George and uh, move on to people who are gonna 1v1 and be crowned the Motion Royale Design Royale Champion. So George, let's move on and uh, let's, 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 see, let's see how we're gonna do this. Bluebell saying like, the companionship with the stream, it, you know, each character. And also I feel like she would even make that even more of a thing. Like where in the mission screen, it would just show only the alarm bot, you know, in the, in the, in the alert, it only shows the um, turret, you know, like having these little things be where the, the, the actual bot lives. What a cool concept. I love that idea that she said, like immediately, I have to point that out. Bluebell's animation probably most relates to the expectations of a streamer. Now, what do you think about Wilru? I think his is also very well designed. I think his design system as a whole is probably the most visually consistent, which I, I really enjoy. Visually, it relates really well to the starting soon graphic, and I could easily see this being like a full package. What about future? Future, his alert is actually, it's probably one of my favorites for the animation. If I compare the work that he did with this alert and his panel graphics, it feels a little bit less consistent as far as style. Color is a little bit different with the glow, makes everything brighter, but then the panels don't have that glow, so they're a little bit more muted. If we compare the starting soon screen, it almost feels like a completely different graphic. Lastly to talk about would be Sammy. The 3D is obviously very impressive for the alert. I think the alert is probably my favorite design out of the entire package. And the, the webcam is a really nice touch as well. It definitely feels like in the same realm. The level of differentness or like the uniqueness of how the alert kind of swings in with this, you know, really cool sort of like geometric shapes that can be played around with uh, through more elements or through more alerts. And for me, I think Sam and like Wilru have the same ideas of having this package and visual system where I feel like it's very easy for them to take it and move forward with it. Honestly, throwing in a bluebell in there too. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Bum, bum. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this was um this was obviously very difficult. Um, but I think it came down to this idea where it was difficult, but I think two people I think was had an extraordinary outcome. I'm just gonna jump into it. All right. Someone who I think was so brilliant had a very cohesive project who I felt absolutely nailed their character's aesthetic and kept it appropriate through every single piece of the stream designs and will be moving on to the 1v1 bluebell <laughs> it had it had to happen it had to happen you you were incredible congratulations you're moving on to 1v1 against uh george has the the last person but someone who i think created a system that feels very consistent and something that could be sent off, I think is a final design, something that I think relates to the creator, like I had mentioned earlier. I think someone who did that more would be Wilru. The design feels very, very finished. I, I honestly don't really even know what changes I would make other than a few minor details. The considerations to Neon's style, her personality, I think 
and then the, the refinement of the design itself the layouts are very very strong they're very functional so with that said blue bell and ruler will be facing 1v1 and be crowned one of them we're gonna be crowned the design royale motion royale champion and uh yeah blue bell will are you guys are you guys prepared for what we possibly have give, give me more than 45 minutes and i'll be all right it's gonna suck but it's gonna be fun hopefully now for the final brief we have a nintendo x nike collab where they'll actually be using design styles from nike and nintendo as a reference creating an advertisement for nike products under the theme just play it for the requirements they must include a nintendo product must include at least one Nintendo game character, must feel like a Nike X Nintendo collaboration, must include just play it phrase, must also include Nike X Nintendo on the screen. And then lastly, this is not an official Nintendo X Nike collaboration on the graphics. So as you guys know, let's do it. Let's hop into it and uh, see what happens. Three, two, one design we're getting started i'm ready we've got an hour and a half let's see how this goes um bro, i'm nervous for this look the problem is i don't really know anything about nike i mean i walked past a nike store recently probably this is gonna be a really really close and dope final i just don't know exactly what they're gonna actually do yet but when we figure that out it's i i know it's gonna be close that's the sad part i think this prompt is really interesting and i'm curious to see who's gonna lean more towards nike or nintendo or if they're gonna be able to find like a perfect balance. I think I have some idea of where to go from here. Now, Nintendo's not very scribbly. They're both they're both quite clean looking. Okay, we're just gonna have to wing it, I think. We don't have time to keep searching for logo-y things. I think we might go white and red. I've seen a lot of Nintendo Switch ads. This is gonna be the fastest modeling I've ever done in my life. I reckon we'll be fine, if I'm being brutally honest. I think we will be fine. I think it's just about cracking down and making sure that we get all the details in, making sure that we've got everything in there. Nintendo Switch case, maybe? But why would Nike sponsor a Nintendo Switch? Like, why would they collab on a Nintendo Switch case? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe, how about Joy-Cons? Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. Very distinctive. Probably lots of angles we can use. I think this might be it. Should I just draw it? Is that too time consuming? We have an hour and 20 left. I've used 10 minutes just on research, which I do not like. Nice, that's all basic Nintendo Switch. Then what we need to do is create some sort of buttons. We're gonna get Mario running through on the Switch UI. Let's get him in here. This is the bare minimum, but it works fine. I think we'll make it sporty. Like we might have footage of Nintendo Switch sports or something, but I want moving with Joy-Cons to be the real concept here. Let's have them in different colorways. Everyone likes Switches in different colorways, right? What we also need is the Nike and the N N Nintendo logo if you pronounce it nike then we're gonna have some issues i'm not normally nervous for things like this but i absolutely am this time around i think you could just stack this vertically you know we get this i still don't like that um we need to just undo to what we had we'll roll with this the red from nintendo is very distinct isn't it so we need to stick to it how do we mix nintendo red with nike style and branding so our focus is going to be on this joy con joy con design done now we just need to actually design everything else it's actually quite nice, this brief, because it's let me just sort of go with like my roots. Do you know what I mean? I've sort of had freedom to do what I can rather than what I need to do. So it's like I'm, I'm chatting out my ass right now. I want, I think I want to do like a thing with like lines coming out. I don't know how this is going to work exactly or how we're going to blend it. Just to give it that sporty motion view feel. I don't know if that really makes sense yet. And with that one hour remaining, 30 minutes already went by. It's not going to work because she's moving too much. This guy's moving too much too. This guy's, this kid's hardly moving at all. You're a candidate, come here. One hour left, 30 minutes gone. Okay, we need to speed up. I have faith, I have confidence in myself and my ability to do everything very, very last minute. Thank you, ADHD. <laughs> Let's have Mario kick a ball because he's, he's in, in the Nike world, right? What if you kick the football out of the screen? That would be awesome. Just do it, Nike, do you feel me? Ideas, all right, ideas, creativity, all these wonderful things in life that you can just touch upon. I'm hoping Bluebell's giving some good commentary because I'm just waffling at this point. Ideating on an entire commercial in an hour and 30 minutes. So you think it's just another Nintendo advert until actually it becomes something much more. He's running in, he's gonna volley it, off he goes, he shoots, and he's it's just insane. 
All right, so it's time for some midway check-ins. So let's go ahead and hop in with Bluebell to see uh, what's going on over there. As a Switch owner, the total lack of variety in Joy-Con colors is very irritating. So I decided that this would be kind of a good way to go about it. It fills a niche and it makes sense for Nike to do kind of like a sport related collaboration. I just need to find a way to tie everything together. It's a little scattered right now. I love the I, I love the concept idea about that. You also like I like the idea that you tackle the niche too. That's that's I like that a lot. I like that theme. I would keep building off that. They've taken Bluebell. Whether or not that's a good thing, I don't know. Have the critiques her early to get her on the right track or have the critiques her early because they think she's going to win and they were excited to say something. Bro, I don't know these information, this information. I can't even speak correctly. All right, let's see what Wiru's got planned for us right now. So he runs in. I want a football to be in there for Nike. Um, so he's playing sports. There's a, there's a few different paths I could go down here. I could have the ball come off the screen, which I've decided might be too hard. Or he could kick the ball and it cracks the screen. There needs to be some sort of continuation of this pixel ball. Then it's going to go sort of like Nintendo X Night. This first scene feels a little bit disconnected from the second visually. I like the idea of the ball coming off screen. Uh, it would be cool to see it come into the later scenes so it feels like a continuation of the story. Bro, I'm stressed, okay? But we're gonna make it work. Almost everything I do is on accident and then, okay, that's actually good. I'll keep it. So let's say that this flips around and then that becomes the logo. That might be cool. Five minutes left. That is it. That is all the time I have left. Uh, <laughs> what the f man? Too ambitious, maybe, but I, at this point, it should be obvious that I do not let that stop me. Just play it. How do we make that an interesting text animation? I didn't really get to do everything I wanted to do with Shape Layers, but I am okay with it. I can't do anything more. I can't do anything more. That's it now. And just like that, time is done. Stop and unmute. What you guys just accomplished in an hour and 35 minutes is, is, it's, it is what it is. It's insane. All right, so can we get a quick little pitch on how you actually connect to Nike and Nintendo really quick? When I was approaching Nintendo and Nike, I was thinking, why would Nintendo and Nike ever collaborate? And I thought of Nintendo Switch Sports because that's, one of the um, Hallmark products of Nintendo, the Wii Sports line. And the other thing I was thinking of, what would a Nintendo Switch owner want? I was thinking Joy-Con colors because I mean, quite frankly, there just aren't that many customization options. And I was inspired by the Nike Air Max branding. That's very colorful. It's like a little pastel, but not quite pastel. And I think it came together quite well. I think so too. Okay, what about you, Wiro? I wanted it to be like an announcement that Nintendo and Nike are working together. So there wasn't a specific game I was trying to promote. I wasn't trying to promote a product. I was trying to get across the message of Nintendo X Nike. That was my main goal. And I wanted to do one of the most iconic Nintendo things, which was to use the Switch and then collaborate that with um, a sport. So I, what I basically did was like Mario playing football. I thought that was a nice little teaser. So it's almost like at the beginning, people are asking like, what the hell is this? Why is Mario playing football? And then we see Nintendo X Nike. And then I just went to just play it. I wanted the football to be consistent throughout the whole thing. I, I wanted just to keep things flowing because I feel like flow is what keeps people engaged. You guys honestly killed it. It's going to be a tough, very, very tough one to judge per usual. I, I, you know, we're going to throw it out there, but you guys both did amazing. But me and George are going to go ahead and critique and uh, come back and crown our Design Royale Motion Royale champion. Okay, so George, let me get a overall motion idea of what you feel Bluebell's concept feels like. If I had to say w which one was more thoughtful, I think Bluebell's concept is maybe a, a little bit more in line with what I would expect from Nike and Nintendo collaborating. So I think the idea is definitely there. I think the motion, there are some areas that could be improved, but for the most part it incorporates a lot of different elements and i think all of them work together so okay what about wilru he crushed it with the flow and the pacing of the animation itself all of the the movements it's very seamless the transitions i think work perfectly and there's always something going on in the graphics so it never feels static and it just the pacing is so consistently good so 
his technical ability to execute this in an hour and a half is very, very impressive. I also like the idea of how, to, how you mentioned, like, why is Mario, you know, using or playing with the soccer ball? Kind of having this very, like, immediate confusion-esque, like, interest, which gets people to continue watching, which is a very, very smart choice. Um, and then also kind of seeing, you know, the, the, the initial sort of Nike X um, you know, Nintendo to kind of get that question answered immediately, then to kind of play a role into what the actual campaign's all about, just play it. It's a very, very smart, very dope breakdown. What it comes down to is like these technical motion comparisons versus story versus, you know, execution versus like, there's a lot to think about here. There's definitely a lot to compare. So whether you're a fan of design or principle versus concept, you know, I think that might sway uh anyone's decisions but regardless they're both done really well in the time given no matter what i think both these people win here bluebell and will root absolutely win but of course there only has to be one champion and uh who i think that is is gonna probably end up being okay 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 so we j oh man okay so this was obviously 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 not easy whatsoever um you both did absolutely fantastic when we come down to like bluebell's concept it just had i love we love the thought process behind um sort of like the idea behind you know adding in more context to like the the brief and how it kind of went through and the motion art looked super super dope as well uh of course with real rules like we just feel the the actual motion was also just sort of brilliantly done and the pacing was like super super like on it was just honestly perfect pacing when it comes down to it um and then it just came down to the, all the small little factors and all these little things and we feel as if the winner of design royale motion royale edition is bluebell we feel as if bluebell's concept had an extended to the brief and really sold a product and idea rather than also just having brilliant motion if we took motion out of the context we feel as if bluebell's concept had it felt very nintendo it felt very nike it felt as of course there's like tweaks that can happen to both these projects to even make it even more brilliant but again for the hour and 30 minutes we feel the execution between thought to execution between motion design was something we could not ignore so bluebell congratulations you are our champion. I don't even know how you thought about what you thought about, but you have anything to say to the viewers? I am entirely self-taught. I did not study um, any form of design in school. I was an English major. I just want to say that if, if you have a vision and if you know what you want to do, execution can be learned. Um, you, just need to, you just need to be prepared to learn and keep learning. And you know, you can do anything. You can make anything. It was very clear that you guys both are brilliantly talented and professional in your own rights. But Wilru, of course, coming in second, you know, probably not the exact placement you were looking for, but what do you feel as you sit here today? I'm I'm very much speechless, and I know that sounds really corny, but I genuinely don't know what to say. But um, I'm very happy to have made it to the final. That's the big thing. We were saying, actually, in the call, you know, me and Bluebird, was like, no matter what happens here, we've both made it to the final. So congratulations <laughs> to both of us. For the record, the viewers will see you both again. So if you are a fan of Will, you guys will see him once again in the championship series whenever we get more Motion Royale videos out. But with that said, if all you guys did enjoy, please be sure to, of course, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Comment down who you guys think the winners were in your case in the championship series, of course. Also, don't forget to comment all the other people that we, of course, seen in today's episode and uh, show some love as well. So with that being said, Sessa HQ out. You're going to get a key smile and stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Much love. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. Mm -hmm.